Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to import WooCommerce products from CSV, but uh, WooCommerce default uh, uploader is not working. Let me show you the CSV file. This is the CSV file which have approximately 26 products, 25 products and uh, you can actually upload thousands of products using uh, this method but uh, the thing is that when you try to import products from uh, CSV the WooCommerce plugin will give you an error let me show you click on import and when you click on browse and select your CSV then it will uh, show you an error sorry this file type is not permitted for security reason so uh, that error comes out of nothing because um, the format we are using is CSV and it's it clearly allows uh, CSV but uh, we have a solution for this for the CSV you must have the SKU stock status mm, product type or product title stock status status and SKU is not necessary because you can uh, add products without them so product description image URL these are the image links price categories and brand etc but uh, for me I don't have brand so I'll uh, skip that one okay uh, once you uh, try it on WooCommerce uploader and it's not working then come to your plugins click on add new and in the search bar type WooCommerce CSV import and press enter you will need two plugins for this first one will be all WP all import uh, plugin click on install now and the second one will be WooCommerce uh, all import XML or CSV for WooCommerce so uh, this is a child plugin but you will need the parent plugin as well so after installing this one install this one as well when you have both plugin installed click on activate for this one and this one I'm opening these two in the new tab so both will be uh, activated at the same time once these two pages loaded refresh the page to check if these uh, plugins are activated now okay both are activated uh, but not this one click on activate okay now when we have uh, our plugins activated click on WP all import and click on new import then click on upload a file choose the file which was rejected by the WooCommerce uploader now it will uh, ask you for the post type we have the post type WooCommerce product and then click on continue to step 2 in the step 2 it will confirm that all fields are showing properly for each product but uh, one product is enough to check okay click on continue to step 3 in step 3 you will mention uh, or assign all values to uh, these things uh, for example title will go here search for title in your file these these are the steps these are the things from your CSV and these are the WooCommerce things so click on title product title grab this title here and leave it the product description here and press enter because we have another thing to ad be added in the product description which is USPS okay now scroll down to the short description add the product description in short description as well 
then uh, come to images we will add uh, the add-ons after image small image src we we have this uh, column name small image src okay choose this option download images hosted el elsewhere so they will uh, download these images to your website first and then assign to the products okay now for the woocommerce add-ons it's a simple product not variable and choose sku here grab sku and then the price now scroll down to taxonomies and categories so I'll choose product category each product just uh, have one category so in my case it's just one category but if you have multiple categories then select this one and uh, separate them by comma or any uh, other separator you used in your categories so in my case it's just one category to the product categories now scroll down uh, also I will choose option try to match terms to existing uh, child product category and only assign products to the imported category and not the whole hierarchy for example if a category have a parent category then this product will not assign the parent category to this product just the child category but if you uh, uncheck this then it will assign all the products in parent uh, and child categories so I'll assign this to just have the mm, lower category other product option published okay okay now continue to step 4 unique identifier auto detect it will get product title and this uh, product strapper so okay continue now click on confirm and run import it will take a couple of minutes maybe two minutes or uh, maybe less than that and will complete uh, grabbing all these products I have only 25 products in this CSV but you can uh, actually import thousands of products using this um, this process this step okay it took about uh, 50 seconds for 25 products now come to your products I previously had uh, approximately 30 products so adding these will be total of 55 products and you can see all images SKUs stock status uh, all these things are imported so uh, that was all for today's video I hope you learned something from this one and please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates. Thank you.